Okay, this is going to be a quick video just to kind of step you through the new semi-global matching algorithm now available in the Imagine Photogrammetry Suite in the 2014 release. So if I were to click on this semi-global matching algorithm under the Generate option with a loaded photogrammetry block, of course, you would see that I have three stereo pairs here available for the four images I have active in this particular uh, project file. If I had more or less, I could activate or deactivate uh, the amount of images I want to use. Those that are active will populate this based on the uh, overlap percentage here. Simply meaning that if I decrease this overlap percentage, I would just recalculate and I would have more uh, stereo pairs used if I, if I wanted to uh, increase or decrease that amount. However, 50 to 60 percent is usually pretty standard for, for overlaps, and therefore uh, I'm going to keep it at 50 percent overlap. Some strategy parameters I'm not going to get into just to keep this short, but they're available. Um, when we get to the output directory here, you would just obviously specify where you want it to go, but the most important thing really here is to define your RGB encoding uh, for the point cloud itself. So if I RGB encode the point cloud, the output point cloud would look much like this image you see here on the right. If I were to choose the false color infrared option, it would be kind of more of a reddish, you know, pink hues, typical of a false color infrared output. Uh, in this case, I'm going to keep it at RGB. If I were to run this now, it would uh, process each of the, the point clouds one at a time. Once the first one was done, the next one would be processed. However, if I want to access the batch wizard, I could get into the batch wizard here, and then again hitting submit as opposed to run now. Uh, I have the option to increase the amount of simultaneous processes I may, may wish to run. So I could process all three of these stereo pairs all at once. And if I wanted to take it a step further, I could even distribute across multiple machines using a free Condor install if you if you happen to have that installed or if you happen to want that installed. So you could uh, make use of idle machines on the network uh, to distribute your processing. So hopefully that gives you a quick overview of how to fire up the new semi-global matching algorithm available in the Imagine Photogrammetry and the Auto DTM pack in 2014. And I hope that helps. Thank you.